Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It is game number four. Team Caliber up 2-1 over Optic Gaming. Optic trying to come back and tie things up with a win oh, here on no. Uplink. And Skump just missed the free one-point play. No defenders in front of him there. Now there's three, and he is going to be cleaned up. This should get tossed out unless Nade Shot can pull it off and get the dunk. Mm, that's going to work out in their favor, but that is a big, big piece of lady luck on Optic Gaming's side because... Scump was not playing for that at all. Yeah, he was playing for one and missed. But luckily, had the slaying power to clean up all of TK. And with about, I think it was two seconds left, Krim was able to pick up that drone. And I'm I'm interested about this this map. I really am because you know we think every caster, every sort of person who's ever watched up the gaming on this map would would say that this is definitely their strongest uplink. And it's a map which I feel you know if you say oh you're playing against up the gaming on uplink comeback. 95% of the time, you're going to say Optic's going to win it. Technically, but Biolab is their strongest uplink, is believe that it or not. Really? Yeah. That surprises me. Yeah, that J really does. JP and I had this this uh, discussion. I was like, everyone thinks Optic is God's gift to man on this map. They're very confident in it, right. but statistically, it's not their best. They've had some big losses on it. Well, that's exactly what I was going to say. Um, going back to a couple of games uh, last week, Optic Gaming actually got destroyed in uplink comeback. They've had a pretty bad week on this map, so... Interested to see if TK can try and take advantage of that. Scumpy on the move. Has a little bit of cover from the left, but is going to have to defend himself against the melee. He doesn't. Sharp gets it, and Sharp wisely tosses it out of the base. Keeps it just a 2-0 game. Still trailing is TK, but Gunjar trying to clear the way for a big dunk, and that is in the hands of Theory. He's got to go for the one-pointer. No interception. 2-1. TK now on the board. That was really nice play from Team Caliber. They just flooded that satellite drone respawn point. And uh, there's two players from Optic Gaming over on that green side. And neither of them wrapped back. They actually all pushed forward up the map, which isn't really what you want to do. He overshot, but he's going to get the dunk That's now. That's twice we've seen that happen with a little bit of luck. Just shows you. Sometimes just so sort of, if you did that intentionally, could work out in your favor as opposed to accidentally. Oh, my Lord. I'm going to find some batteries, Chris. The next commercial break, remind me. I'm going to go battery hunting in the office. I'm going to get you a camera for your hands when you when you drive. A camera for my hands? Yeah. What do you mean? You you talk with your hands. What do you mean, what do you mean I talk with my hands? But you also need to control the players I'm so with your confused. hands. I'm, you I'm amazed that you're able to do both. I'm, I, I'm a multitasking individual, Chris. I'm you impressed. should know this by now. I'm impressed. We've, we've he doesn't miss the action. Oh, wow. and, his, oh. and his hands are up in the air. 3-2. With two minutes still to go here in the first side, oh. Team Caliber has taken the lead, and now it's going to be Nade Shot and the boys trying to at least tie things up with a one point toss. They could take the lead with a dunk. Not going to happen. I Looney just, stopping everything. Gunjar picks up the other two. I just want to point out that play. All right, so Drone Carrier, I, I think it was Nade Shot, waited for a really long time for his teammates to push forward. And you're like, all right, that's great. That's what you want to see. You want to see your teammates kind of push forward and get those kills. And then before any kill had gone down, Nate Shot starts his play, his double jump as if he was going to try and throw the drone over yellow. It's like, well, you need to just be that extra second patient. If Formal wins that gunfight, Nate Shot stays alive, drone goes underneath the enemy portal, potential for a one-two point play. What do you do right here? That's just fantastic play. He just shoots out all the positions. Force it through. Look at that kill feed. It's Again, all red, and there right. is the two-pointer. That's what they needed. 4-3. One-point game. Now, who's on the satellite drone respawn? Last time we saw this, no one from up to get actually rotated. Oh, sorry, Team Kaba rotated. Hated. Oh, no, yeah, no one for TK's on right. the better side as well, guys. We should mention that. Drone. Uh, and yeah, there's drone. another nice defensive play, tossing it out. Looney has been slaying everything. Every time I look down, he's picking up two pieces. Surprised to see him, though, at 9 and 12. Nate Shot going to get caught around the corner. No more movement. It looks like actually Krim6 is going to try and keep it alive. Did just hit that player with the nade. One point play at least right here. And there is the bank shot to make it a 5-3 game. I love it. Now just play for those kills. Top yellow. But is there anyone from up to go? Yeah, there is. It's actually going to be nade now. Nate should just go for two. Oh, he's got it. And, and again, look at this. Look at that spawn from Formal. Formal can just wait. Play it patiently, try and get one kill, maybe two kills before he picks up that drone and goes to the same thing, but unfortunately he's not going to be able to do so. So Scumpy needs to try and stop this one point throw. Does Krim now with five seconds left. Can Gunja get it? Gunja from downtown, I think that's good. It yep. is good. Yeah, he did. All right. I thought it went right beyond it like Looney's shot, but instead it is going to connect. So 4 7. Looks Three point advantage for Optic Gaming. TK, you got to think they're playing from the more difficult side. They're going to have to really force this one through. Looking at that kill column, 18 and 10 for Krim. 
nature really stepping things up as opposed to some of the poor performances we, we saw earlier on in the day, at least 13 and 11. Team Caliber, who's impressing sharp, doesn't surprise me. But again, Gunja starting slow, Chris. Another slow start. Yeah, uh, 8 and 16, double negative. I think every single game, at, at some point that isn't, you know, like just after two or three kills, he's been double negative. Someone's got to answer what Crim6 is doing, because 18 and 10, he's taking the objective in himself now, getting a little confident. Scump's going to get the, the pick up and go, and now we are seeing Optic really start to pull away. TK needs someone to slay right now. Sharp is not the only one in this game right here. Crim with the drone goes for one, and that should connect. Does no interception. So. Close interception, almost, almost, almost but uh, you know, we're speaking to oh, Nature with the two piece. Can he find the third? Nope. Switching over to the Ballas name. Maybe that's why this is a better performance from him. If he's been using the Ballas all game long, really uh, should have should have probably checked that, but definitely picking things up as opposed to some of the earlier rounds. Krim with the stuns. Does he dip bottom middle? It looks like that's the game plan here. I just Trip. go for one point. Triple assist oh, as Scump picks two. up the three piece. Yeah. You're getting the two. <laughs> yeah, as soon as you see Scump with the three piece, 100%. And, and this is what Optic do so well on the good side. When they lock it down, then they get this players in the spawn trap. Formal now, as long as he stays to the right of this blue building, is just completely on for another two piece. Nate Shot is throwing up big doubles in the kill feed. Scump, we just talked about his look three at the spawn piece. Trap. He continues to slay, picking up two more. 22 and 14, now passing Krim 6 for most kills in this game. On the other side, no one really <laughs> catching fire. In fact, Gunjar has not picked up a kill in the minute 30 here in the second side. And it's just spawn trap after spawn trap. TK always wrapping back. I feel they kind of need to, but when you're in a spawn trap like that, there comes a time where you have to think, all right, if we all overextend just once and slay out from the drone, we could potentially go for a two-point play. Can and, I have to get the mercy rule here? Um... I believe they could if... What was the score after the first side? It was 5-3? Was it? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think no, no, no. Were. Four... I give up. Because it, it's, it's, really, it's really weird the way uplink works. Um, if you have the lead going into the half, you can't just score 10 points. Okay. It gives the opposition, I think it's like a five-point leeway, I think? It's, it's a very, very weird um, way of doing it. But, I mean, we'll see. They still have two minutes 41. They could definitely end it with a couple more points, and that one, gonna miss. Miss so. wide right. Is Scump gonna be able to chase it down? Krim was hunting for it. And this should be... A sharp. He's, he's TK with the points. Piecing out real quick, throws it. Now Sharp needs to slay. Big one-on-one -on -one here. Grabs the ball, extra <laughs> shield, and he got greedy. Went for the play. Gunjar picked up three straight kills. Looney now with the double. There you go. And that is going to finally be more points for Team Caliber. Down 10, though, with two minutes, 10 seconds to go. Oh, but Looney is just on a mission right now. Slaying everyone out himself. 21 and 23, four streak. Should be a five streak, but actually finally falls. Gunjar with the drone. Doing with the pass. Boom! Yep. Two-point play, eight-point differential. And again... The kills are so, so important. If you can keep optics pointing out towards that glass side, it opens up that whole side of the map. But Scump now with the drone, just going to slow the tempo of the game down. I do want to give credit to Sharp on that last TK oh! play. <laughs> oh, no, and there's so an unlucky. interception. I'll take two, <laughs> right? he says. Thank you. <laughs> Scump's like, oh, you want to intercept it? Don't even worry about it. I'm going to double my points. Go ahead. Drop your gun. <laughs> I will allow that. Oh, Krim. This, this, this I think, will end the 20-pointer. Yeah, there you go. There you go. 20 to 8. Score limit reached Optic Gaming, the best team when it comes to uplink that I've seen. It could be argued that a few others are at the top, but right now with the current lineups that are playing in this tournament, by far Optic with the scariest uplink lineup. Yeah, they very, very good. It's it's very scary. Um is is what it is. And that she ties up the series again, two two. So this one We're going to game five. Game five, who which you, I love. Who do you uh, favor? Optic gaming. I mean, they stink at S and D, mm. uh, but that's kind of what they won so far. They've won Uplink and they've won Search and Destroy. They've lost Capture the Flag. They've lost a Hard Point. So Which is weird. Losing a Hard Point, winning your S and Ds. Not the optic we're used to, but hey, a win's a win. Exactly. I think they take it over TK. Unless Theory just has another amazing game. But remember last time, he put up over double digits and his teammates just did not hang. I just want to throw it to the stats. Yeah, let's look at these. <laughs> Real quick it's, because it's, it's disgusting. That tells you the story of the game. Um, no one from TK able to get a 1KD shop with the closest at 0.91.
Looney 0.81, and then when you have Therian, I mean, Gujar 0.54. Just want to say, Scumpy had a 1.1 higher KD than TK's theory. Just put that in perspective. Disgusting. Yeah. And I mean, look at look at Goon. We we said how he's normally stepping things up, and, and that's true, right? He uh, starts slow, steps up, but there was no step up in that game. No, uh, he got completely it, outside. It was and 90 that's, seconds without a kill at the start of the second. And time. you can't ha someone who is so sort of slay heavy for your team or slay minded. You can't have a player like that have a 0.5 KD. What's the problem? Is it the matchup against Optic here? Just not winning your gunfights, right? <laughs> Ultimately, that's what it comes down to. Players going horribly nag, you can't do that against Optic. Well, it all comes down to the map. We'll find out what it is on the other side. Detroit, S&D. When we return, guys, don't go anywhere.